Take a Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Let's Play. And today, we aren't going to actually be doing anything, because I am going to be touring you around the world of what we have so far. So, I've been doing a lot of single player work on this world lately, and I mean a lot of work. And you might notice different tools, as I have two picks and a diamond sword, so let me get straight into it with one of the questions of the day. Also, I've changed this because... Um, I think I was just putting way too much effort and doing the let you guys choose. So I'll let you guys choose every once in a while. But for now, I'm just going to put what needs to be done in here. So first question of the day. Why did you start playing Minecraft? I started playing Minecraft because my friend and my brother um, got it for our, their phones. And I showed, and I saw him. I was like, wow, that game looks hilarious. But once I started seeing what he was making, I'm just like, hmm. That looks actually kind of fun, so I got it, and I played the Pocket Edition for a while, and I remember on vacation, like a few weeks before I actually got real Minecraft, um, I was watching tons of YouTube videos on how to make like these trapdoor places, and things like that, and it was just like, wow, this game looks amazing. Of course now, I miss all the excitement, because now Minecraft is just like, eh, I know what to do, and stuff like that, so, yeah, let's just... Mind the carrots, since we don't really have too many carrots. Let's get this going. But, um, once I got Minecraft, uh, I started playing, of course. But the problem was, I turned on the 3D thing because it made the dirt on the loading screen look a little cooler back when I first got it. And I'm just like, what the crap? My Minecraft's broken when I started because everything's 3D. And he, my brother's just like, uh, let's go to your options. And he checked out the 3D. And like, there you go. I'm like, oh, well. Duh, that, that's obvious why it was doing that. But yeah, that's the only thing I remember when I first got Minecraft, except for watching videos during our vacation. Because normally when we go on vacation like Disney and stuff, me and my brother just sit in the room on the bed and just watch YouTube or listen to music while my parents go out and do stuff, because most of the stuff they do I find boring, so I don't do it, basically. So yes, um... How about those bass football games? Actually, this video is coming out on Tuesday, so it's going to be a few days later afterwards. But I just figured out what the score, or not the score, but who won the 49ers and Seahawks game. I thought Broncos and Seahawks go to the Super Bowl, and I was correct, so that's awesome. Too bad I didn't bet on it. Um, either way, let's get looking. So first off, I tried one diamond sword, level 30. That's what I'm talking about. I swear I have really bad luck with things. Knockback 2. We're level 30. I can't wait till 1.8 comes out so I can use Lapis. Um, I've got this bow that I did. Um, I combined two bows actually. And I forgot this one had unbreaking I think. Yeah I did. I thought I was going to try to add unbreaking to this. Well I'm dumb. But yeah I got Power IV and Punch 2. And I believe it was on breaking three, and then I got a flame. I don't remember. I just combined two bows and got this awesome bow. The miner's money, which is my ultimate miner's pick, efficiency five on breaking three. I will be keeping that for a long time. Silky touch. Hopefully, I can get a diamond one later on, but that's what I'm using right now. And oh yeah, my armor. I've got good skeleton protection boots. Good, just plan out good leggings, and then these two are pretty worthless because they don't even have them breaking. So that's all good. I just passed by diamonds, but I'm now collecting lapis in with silk touch, so I can fortune it since it's gonna be a good thing to use for um, enchanting. I also have 36 pos 36 diamonds over a stack possible of diamonds once I get fortune. Um, I've been doing a lot of strip mining. And I actually found something really cool. I can't wait to show you guys. Also, this gold chest plate. Do not know why. I don't need you. And I'm gonna use that for a shovel, I think. Just because. And this leather hat's for something different. But while we run to where we're going, let's go to the second question, which is what is your favorite NFL and NBA? Team. My favorite NFL team is the Green Bay Packers because my mom is from Wisconsin, the land of the cheeseheads, and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, I moved the enchantment room, so I'll show you that in a second. 
But this is going to end up being the storage room, I think, which is awesome because I wanted a storage room close to home. But since my enchant table was there, I couldn't really think of anywhere to put it down here. But now I have a spot. If your favorite NBA team, by the way, my teams, I didn't really like sports when I was young. Probably not to 6th or 7th grade that I actually started to like sports. So I chose these teams later on. So my favorite NFL. NBA team, I'd have to say the Heat. I don't say I'm a fan yet because people call me a bandwagoner. I'm waiting for them to actually lose a championship. Yeah, if that'll happen. But mostly because of LeBron, because LeBron's such a boss. So, Skelly Farms says Spawner. That's what I'm talking about. So, I was strip mining. There's actually a huge cave that way. I still need to explore. I'll do that later on. But this side, I was exploring and exploring and exploring. Just coming along here. Eat some steak, and then here I found myself a nice ravine, and I was like, ooh, maybe I can find some diamonds. I actually, I think there's diamonds here. There's diamonds somewhere, and I got them, and I'm just like, do 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 looking over, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, spawner, I saw a skeleton, I'm just like, thank you. So yeah, there's a skeleton spawner in there, which I will show you in a second, but, well, I'll show you how I did this, so it's basically nothing too crazy um let that skeleton go so it's just little holes have water it goes to the center and stuff like that it's really 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 simple nothing to it um i made this fancy stairway into this fancy room i've been working on this all morning so let me just show you what's going on so first off we got the little thing i used to do the high up drop um you might have seen that on one of my tutorials but this i watched H bomb's video, I believe it's H bomb. I'm sorry if I didn't get his name right. Um, but he actually told the who actually made this. But he made it on the cube, and I watched it because Great Papa Cell said it was really more efficient. And it really is. All you do is flick this lever twice. Oh 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 oh! You gotta put the piston, flick the lever twice. You punch them. They fall into the lava. They die, and you get XP. Then you. Double click that, put that away, open that, and the spawner keeps working. And we also have these chests with a ton of stuff. And we got a nice helmet, that's why I kept that. But otherwise, I'm basically just keeping chain. Because you can't get chain. And over here, we got ourselves a little trash can. As you just heard. Uh, let me actually put my mobs back up. I had them down because I was listening to Pandora while I was doing all the enchantments and stuff. Which enchantment rooms in there. So let me just show you what's going on here. No, <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Well, we got a hopper until I get a new half slab. Um, is it safe to knock this out? I believe so, but I'd rather. Please be safe. Okay. So what we have here is a dis we have a dropper, not a dispenser, just a dropper. And then, you, if you remember my chicken farm, I basically made that exact same design here, and it just spits the items straight into lava, so that's how that works. Really, really simple. This is also really simple, it's just tiny plugged in stuff. And then here is my beautiful crafting table that I love doing this because it's just like, yeah, I don't even know. And you can also go, whoa, earthquake, stuff like that. So. I spent a ton of iron and made a ton of anvils. I moved my enchantment tail and stuff over here. Lapis block. I would do diamond but lapis because that's what's going to end up being used in enchanting. And I added obsidian. That might have been overkill. Not completely sure. And also, I'm, I plan to change this glowstone into the redstone lamps. And see if that can actually light up this whole room. Probably not. But if it can, then I'm just going to put like half slabs like the... Um, the cube does. I'll just put them right here so whenever I walk in it turns on. I can see stuff like that. A lot of this is half slab so it's not as likely to spawn but since I do have a lot of blocks that are on normal level they can spawn. So let's actually just kill these guys real quickly. Die 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 die. There we go. So also how this works, if you don't know, it's like 5 seconds after you punch a skeleton. If they die in 5 seconds, you get the XP. That's how it works. So, Just in case you wanted to know, I wanted to get an infinity thing on this, but I didn't. And actually, just noticed that I don't have... Oh, I do have arrows. I'm blind. I am blind. 
But yeah, that is what I've been doing so far. Um, I was, I'm planning to do more. That took me uh, quite some time to build that spawner room. Um, the spawner room only took like not too long. I was just talking in a Skype call and doing multitasking, so it took a lot longer than it should have. But I'll actually go over here and we will see if we can't find some, if we can't find the cave, which I know we can because it leads straight to it. But yeah. So actually, no, nah, we'll just do a quick strip mine. Which direction? I believe we will go here. Let's knock out you. You need to be moved over. Actually, you should probably move over to this direction. Cause there's plenty of light on this side, so we're good here. Woo, let's get mining. So I, the things I soap touch are redstone, and basically anything that when it mines it pops into a block, mostly for saving room, but also so I can fortune it later on. Redstone, I don't think I'll ever have to use enough redstone unless I choose to make a lot of things out of redstone blocks. But other than that, we should be good. The last, only thing I'm missing is really a fortune pick. I mean, a silk touch iron, I could definitely do better. Um, it's definitely not as good as I would like it to be because it breaks pretty quickly. I mean, even with them breaking three, it's just crashing down really, really fast. So, I also need to get a shovel. That's why I have that one diamond. So, once I get level 30, I will do the shovel. Um, I didn't feel like actually doing any mob grinding crap today because it takes a long time, it's boring. Stuff like that, it really is boring. That's why I want the ender farms at least. It's quick, and you actually have to do more than just click and kill zombies or skeletons. I'm, I'm glad I didn't find a spider. I mean, really, a spider would have been the worst. It's so They're so bad at being spawners. Like cave spiders, you can. It's just really, really, it's just a lot more difficult than it needs to be. But it's possible with spiders, they just clog up and, ah, uh, they're terrible. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. And fall damage doesn't work as well for them either. My goal is to see if we can't find any diamonds. I would love to find a little bit more diamonds because, you know, diamonds are cool and all. And yeah, I mean, they're really cool, not just cool and all. But yeah, you'll actually be seeing me use the bow quite a bit more now that I can actually use a bow since I have infinite arrows. That's why I always want a skeleton farm. You can easily get a good bow, and I, I feel personally that skeletons seem to give more um, XP than zombies. It might I'm pretty sure it's just me, but I feel like they do. Either that or this new farm I created is a lot more efficient. It's a lot quicker because you, even with zombie... Even with armored mobs, they still die much quicker than punching them all the way to death, so. That's awesome. And yeah, let's... There, this way, I basically end once I hit the certain cave, which is actually quite a distance. So I normally can get stuff done by finding something nice way over here. Man, I'm glad I didn't go right there, because that would have been annoying, dealing with gravel. Gravel sucks. Gravel is like the thing you have to pity when strip mining because it's just it's so in the way all the time. Come to me little redstone. I accidentally mined a piece of stone I did not want to. And yeah. Let's actually put a few blocks here. Let's put a light down there, a light down there. There we go. Got something on my Skype but I will resist the urge to look at it until I'm done. Re Recording is the word, not rendering. Um, I'm actually recording this on Monday before the episode you guys should be seeing today. Because uh, it is the minigame marathon day and I do need to get that uploaded. I heard that Mineplex is down for maintenance for a little while. It's probably up by now, but... Oh well, I felt like making a tour video. Showing you guys what I've been doing, collecting a ton of diamonds, still working on that fortune pick. Because I want to face the Ender Dragon with full diamond. Also, I had to turn this world to hard difficulty because no mobs would spawn. Like, legit, I went through so many caves and never found a mob. And with hard difficulty, I was able to find, like, mm, 
maybe like a few just a few it was it's I don't know what's up with this world it's just mobs do not spawn I'm not talking about lit up areas either they're pitch black I can barely see and I there's just no mobs so I don't know what's going on maybe 1.7 has like a little mob spawning glitch or something I have no idea but I hope it fixes itself because if I choose to make a mob spawner grinder type thing I'm getting some really, really weird lag. Look how far that goes, my gosh. Lag. What the crap, man. Will you just quit? Like, seriously, I don't like you. My goodness. There we go. Got through the dumb gravel. At least it doesn't have to fall on our heads. And let's just keep going. Boom. I also mit I also moved my nether portal, I will show you that as soon as we go back up if I remember. Um, I think I will because I'm basically done here, I'm pretty sure. Except if I run into stupid dirt, there we go. This is why I need a shovel. And this is still not the cave, my gosh. How do I have not- I have not found diamonds yet, how in the world? This is strange. I think I found diamonds in like every single strip mine column I've done so far. Maybe there's been like one I haven't. Hello lava. You can stay up there. I won't mind if you do. I know that lava is pretty close to the end so we should be getting really, really close. Come on now. Come on. Break through. Break through. Come on. You can do it. Thank you very much. There's our cave. And now we gotta run all the way back. Show you guys another fortress I moved because um, the strip mine actually ran into it. I'm just like, I am not dealing with this. So I moved it. And thank goodness it still connects to the old one. And the old one still connects to this one. So it's all good. We don't have to worry about anything. Also, while I'm at it, I'm actually gonna mention this. And today's episode, the day I'm recording this Monday, um, hopefully it doesn't end up saying that we can't. I might need to look at the Skype before I check. Let me just check it real quickly. Um, no, it's just a random person talking to me on Skype and I'm trying not to respond because I don't respond to random. Also, I found out that you can do this. Um, I'm not sure how long you've been able to do this, but obviously there's a ravine like right above me. That's, that's interesting. I need, I probably should search that. But yeah, this is a good way to see caves that are closed. You can also see what time of day, as you can see, it's dark up, it's dark up there, so it's nighttime. So I just found that out. I'm not sure how long it's been known, but quite, quite cool, I think. And I grabbed coal on accident, I believe. I don't even remember grabbing coal. Oh yeah, another for, another port of the. Okay, so it used to be in here. Um, down here, this is actually all a strip mine, so I moved it up here, which is quite convenient because it runs into this cave. And also, if I run past it, no biggie, I can just enter through this way or through this way. So, I think it's better where it is. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been doing a lot of work on this server. I mean, this server, my series, and trying to get stuff done. Um, ready and I left the door open not a smart idea and I think I keep everything in here okay but either way guys I hope you guys enjoyed if you did a like is greatly appreciated I'm trying to get this series back out there so people can recognize it because I think I waited way too long for the, this one to come back awake and all the people who were fanned on the last one a lot of them have left so we need to get this back on the roll because I know this was a really awesome series for you guys and I would like to bring it back so I um, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day as always with a little bit also I plan to move that chicken farm over right on top of this because apparently it doesn't work over there I'm assuming this must be spawn chunks now for some reason because I slept here but this garden doesn't grow all the time so I don't know it's pro it was more efficient right there than it was over there. So I don't think it's made any more chicken. But either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.